So there's this whole transference thing that happens on a very subconscious level. So I say, do our inner work. Let's hit that law of critical mass within ourselves with the people that we're connected with. and that is how we can affect change in the world and it's a, it's a real change that we will see and I believe that when we do that we'll start seeing the outer world change as well Wow you have an upcoming book that is so exciting you talk about your experiences of talking about the other side is there anything about that you can share or you're able to share before the book comes out but what you talk yes, about. I can, and, and I'm writing it right now, and, I, and my goal is to have it out before All Hallows Eve, because it's a book that said I think is a, it'd be fun. It's a fun book for Halloween. But the truth is, it's a book about my story of communicating with the other side, and through my form of using the Ouija board to do that. And uh, one thing I will mention too, when I wrote my book, The Spirit of Creativity, Embodying Your Soul's Passion. I did consult spirit friends and I consulted with them about every week, every two weeks and we talked about and we discussed what I was writing about and they gave me some ideas and, and suggestions of how to organize the chapters. I'll tell you what, writing a book, the first book is always the daunting task. After that you kind of have your, your, your situation together and you kind of understand what to do. It's not as bad but still, so this book I'm writing now is really giving the Ouija the voice over the last 40 years I've been using it and what who, who I've encountered, what I've encountered, ways to use it correctly. I, I only use it for positive, beneficial means for growth, healing, development, clarity, guidance, deepen your spirituality. It's all I use it for. So I call it in tongue in cheek Ouija therapy. I definitely, I can't say we're doing therapy because that's not the case, but I will say that it's definitely a tool. And the book is going to explain all this as well as talk about some of my different sessions I've had where we just come through and some of the messages that they have to give our readers as well. So it's, it's an exciting book. Um, I'm almost finished with it, and it'll be going to the editor in about three weeks from now. So it, it's it's a round the clock writing right now to get it done, wow. but it's going to be a fabulous book. I don't have a title for it yet because I always feel like the title comes to me, you know, at the end when I have it all together, and then I'll know what I need to title it. But awesome. it's an exciting uh. book. And then I have another book I'm working on currently with this book, and this book is about women. And it, it's about the alchemical woman becoming the queen. It's about the work that I do now with myself, with my friends, with workshops, where we work on ourselves as a woman, going for that sacred marriage of the king and queen, the male, female, the yin, yang, the yoni, the lingam, this, this black and white energy within ourselves to marriage it, sacred marriage, so we can feel whole within ourselves. And finding this wholeness within ourselves, again, it's like, it's like cleaning your own house, sweeping your own porch. You're a lot more aligned within your empowerment to go out into the world and to affect great change. And also align the world to what it is like. So it's about creating, co-creating your life in the most powerful ways and talking about the different stages that we women go through in a very alchemical manner. I'm going to be talking about alchemy from the Middle Ages. I'm talking about alchemy throughout the ages as well as some sacred geometry, um, some of the symbols that go along with it and how these symbols and, and this alchemy affects us and how we too can ch transform ourselves by using this kind of transformation formulas I'm going to be sharing with everybody. That's an exciting book to come out in 2014. Awesome. Oh my gosh, Karen. I am so glad. Thank you so much for coming on the show. You guys, seriously, check out this book. I'm particularly in love with, with the spirit of creativity, embodying your soul's passion, the guided meditations, the visualizations. Awesome. I'm recording them actually for myself. I highly recommend you guys check them out. They really help you open up. That's what I'm raving about to, to people that ask me about it. But um, anyways, th Karen, thank you so much for coming on the Heart Space. I... I hope we'll be in touch soon later on down the road, and um, best of luck with everything. Thank and you. Thank you to you, too. I really appreciate being here, and, and thank you to all your listeners, and I hope you do enjoy the book, and I'm always available to reach me on my website, too, which is KarenADalman.com. Thank, thank you, you again.